Hi, in this video, I'm gonna go over some techniques that you can do to color up your lead playing. Uh, here's a lick that I'll use to uh, go over the different techniques that um, I'll, I will be using in this video. Here's how the lick goes. <laughs> Okay, so the lick has three parts to it. It has the kind of introductory phrase, then the answer, and the conclusion. So the introductory phrase uh, goes like this. It's, we're in the key of G here. And um, so we're at the uh, third and fifth frets of the D string, the fourth string. And then the third and fifth frets of the G string, the third string. And then we're gonna bend that fifth fret of the G string up a whole step, up to the note that's at the seventh fret. So when, when you're, if you're new to bending, you want to definitely practice hitting the target note on the guitar and then do the bend till you get to that target note. Um, some tips on how to bend. Um, you can use either two or three fingers to kind of support that bend. Um, if, since we're bending the third fret of the G string, I'll actually put my middle and ring fingers on the third fret or the fifth fret of the G string and then also add my index finger on the fourth fret. And then you can practice bending with your thumb on the back of the neck, but it's takes, it's a little more strain. So you can actually use your thumb to help out by putting your thumb on the top of the neck. And then you're just doing like a kind of like a squeezing motion, keeping your three fingers pressed down the whole time and your thumb here, you use your thumb and your fingers both to create that um, bend. Okay, so the lick starts with those four notes and you bend up on the fourth note. Another thing you can add in is palm muting. Palm muting is using the pad of your hand here right at the bridge where the strings meet to muffle them. So I'm taking my palm and I'm going right where the strings and the bridge meet and I'm bringing my hand over to pick. So uh, muting can be kind of a nice effect, um, especially if you're kind of doing this building, opening up um, kind of expression. Like in this lick, the first two notes can be palm muted, and then you don't mute the next one, and you bend the next one to have that kind of build in, in, the, um, in the trajectory of the lick. <laughs> and then once you're up there, it has a pre-bend pull-off. So what you're doing is you're up at that note. While you're up there, you're gonna pluck it, return, and then do a pull off. So while you're up there, you wanna keep your fingers down. You can keep your thumb up here, but as you move down, you might wanna move your thumb towards the back because you're gonna switch from like bending position into a pull off. So once you get down, that one's a little bit too high then switch to moving your thumb in the back and your ring and uh, your ring finger stays there, your index finger to the third fret. And then we're resolving on the fifth fret of the D string. Okay, so that's our introductory lick. Then we've got the uh, response. For that one, uh, the bend is a little different. It's a bend and return. Again, it's at the sixth fret going to the, it's a whole step bend again. So we're going from the sixth fret to the eighth fret. So do a little check. Do you know what note you're going to? And um, eventually you're gonna start to hear the note you're going to and it'll, it'll become much easier. But so since this is a bend and return, you wanna keep that bend position the whole way and you want to keep your fingers pressed down all the way until you're done returning. Right, and then when you get down to the bottom there, you want to shift back, you can bring your thumb back, bring your index over to the third fret of the B string, and the third fret of the G string. So we've got 
Okay, the other thing I'm adding to this is a rake. So I'm doing, it's a kind of a nice percussive sound to kind of build the attack of your riff or lick. And what I'm doing is I'm using both hands to mute. Um, on my left hand, um, I'm using my index and middle fingers to mute uh, because I'm fretting the note with my ring. So we're at the sixth fret of the B string fretting. And so I'm using my index, oh, index and middle fingers to kind of lightly touch the two strings I'm going to be raking. In this case, I'm raking the, the uh, D and G strings. And so we want our fingers to be nice and straight and flat, two fingers, and lightly touch those strings. If you push too hard, you're going to get notes and stuff. So you just want to lightly touch it with two fingers. The reason you do two is because if you have one, you're going to get harmonics. So two makes it a little more muffled. I also muffle with my hand over here, just like palm muting, except instead of being where the bridge and the string connect, I'm going to be up here in the kind of pickup zone or where I'm picking. That way it's going to be completely dead. Like you don't even have notes anymore. If you move back, you'll start to hear the note kind of come out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's the, um, the, the mutes for the rake. Now let's do the picking motion for the rake. So we've got our two fingers muting here, lightly touching nice and straight and flat on those two strings, the D and G strings. And we've got our ring finger fretted at the sixth fret of the B string. And I'm going to rake with my picking hand going from the D to the G to the B strings like this. And what I'm doing is I'm not strumming. I'm literally raking across the string. And then just bend it up. Okay, so now let's uh, go over the rest of that lick. So we've got the rake with the bend and return. That's the third fret of the B string, then the third fret of the G string. If you want, you can add some vibrato there. Vibrato is uh, done like this. You, um, if you're new to vibrato, take it slow. Don't try to get that fast motion yet. Um, if you're new to vibrato, it's basically like a bunch of little mini bends. So let's take our index finger at the third fret of the G string here. And I position my thumb kind of like I'm doing a bend where I'm on the top of the neck. This gives me a good anchor point for my little mini bends. So basically what I'm doing is I'm anchoring my thumb here and I'm just kind of like turning the doorknob, right? But um, my anchor is with my thumb to kind of help bring that note up and down. I even sometimes anchor a little bit right here too. I think actually BB King only anchors right here. So it's up to you. You can see what works for you. You can anchor here or you can anchor with your thumb. Um, and so the, when you're first working on the vibrato, just think of it maybe more like a bend. You can exaggerate it, go slow. You're bending up and down towards the floor, but the pitch is going up and down. And then eventually you'll get more uh, comfortable with it and the speed will just naturally come. There. Another thing about vibrato is it sounds good if you don't do it right away. You let the note sit for a sec and then add your vibrato. All right, so let's go to our concluding lick, uh, which only has one new technique, a slide. So now we're going to the first string, sixth fret, doing a bend and return. We can rake it if you want. Then we're gonna go to the third fret of the first string and then the third fret of the second string. Oh, no, sorry, I was thinking the middle lick. The concluding lick goes. So we're going, we're bending the sixth fret of the first string up and down. And then we're gonna pick the third fret of the first string. And here's our, our slide. We're gonna fret the sixth fret of the second string, the B string, and slide that up to the eighth fret. And so when you're sliding, um, you just want to keep the pressure down with your finger. Um, it's really, it's 
you don't necessarily need like anchor fingers like you do with the bending um, and the vibrato. Well, vibrato with this finger. We'll get there. But um, so sliding is really just that one fretted finger holding it down and just like going right up to the note that you're going to. Um, when you're sliding, you can sometimes wait to slide or slide right away. It's a different effect. Here it is if I wait to slide. Here's if I slide right away. So that first note becomes a grace note if I slide right away. If I don't, they're both kind of like uh, notes with uh, rhythmic value. Um, another neat little thing about this is um, you're actually sliding into the note you just played. Uh, I think I first saw this from like learning a, uh, was it BB King solos? I think he does it. I think uh, Eric Clapton does it. So it's, it's kind of a common lick where you hit that note and then you slide into it or bend into it. So yeah, that's our lick. I hope that was helpful. Let us know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.